This video introduces you to creating a model in a hierarchical way. For this, we create a new simulation model in 3D. In a first step, we create our own processing station. To do so, we open the folder, User Objects, and double-click the frame which already is in the folder. If you want to create a new frame, open the context menu of the folder and select New and then Frame. We rename the frame to My Station. We insert a station and a buffer in front of the station and a buffer as a successor of the station. To connect our station with other stations, we have to add two interfaces. Connect the interfaces with the buffers. Now we create a safety fence around our station. On the tab Edit of the ribbon bar, we select Fence in the group Insert Shape. We create a fence which the dimension of 6 meters by 3 meters. After clicking Create, we have to position the fence around our station. To allow products to move in and out of my station, we have to cut a hole into the fence. To do so, we select the fence and position the cursor at the part of the fence that we want to delete. To step into the graphic of the fence, we press the plus key until only that part of the fence is selected that we want to delete. Press the delete key to delete this part of the fence. In the same way we delete the respective part of the fence on the opposite side, now our station has two holes, where the products can enter and leave the station. Let's assume we also need additional objects in our station, for example, methods, tables, and variables. So we add a method object, a variable object, and a table object. We want to define what we will see when we insert my station into a model frame. Press the right mouse button in the background of My Station to open the context menu of the frame and select Edit 3D Properties. Change to the tab Graphics in the Properties dialog. On this tab, we see the graphic groups of the frame, here the default group, which is not visible, and the deco group, our fence, which is visible. On the bottom of the dialog, we see the checkbox Show content. We can use this checkbox if we want to see the content of the frame or not. When inserting my station into a model frame, we want to see the material flow objects and the deco, but not the information flow objects. The visibility of objects can be defined individually for each object. Open the 3D properties dialog of the object table file and change to the tab Graphics. On the bottom of the dialog, we see a checkbox titled Exclude from Show Content of the Location. With this checkbox, we can define if the object should be visible or not visible when Show Content of the Location is active. By default, this checkbox is marked for All Information Flow Objects. In addition, we want to add a display which shows us the number of parts produced. We select the object display on the tab user interface of the toolbox and insert an instance of the display. Then we drag the station over the display and drop it there. This assigns the station to the display and adds the statistics value stat num in. Double click the icon of the display to open its dialog. The text box next to path shows the value which will be shown during a simulation run. 
To adjust the position and orientation of the display, we open the 3D Properties dialog. We want to rotate the display around the X axis. To do so, we press the arrow button to the right of the text box, axis X, to define the rotation axis and enter 90 in the text box of angle. We move the display in the Z direction by 2 meters and in the Y direction until the display is located directly in front of the fence. To do so, place the cursor into the respective text box, press the control key, and roll the mouse wheel. Now we change to the tab graphics and remove the check mark at exclude from show content of the location. After that, we create a production line using instances of my station. First, we add my station to the tab material flow of the toolbox. We drag my station from the class library to the tab material flow on the toolbox and drop it there. We insert a source object. To insert several instances of my station, we press the control key while selecting my station in the toolbox. We click several times in our frame where we want to insert instances of my station. Finally, we add a drain object at the end of the production line. When inserting the objects next to each other, they will be automatically connected. My station also behaves as each of the other built-in objects of plant simulation and connects to the predecessor and successor object. We check if all connections are established. Next, reset and start the simulation run. The display shows the number of parts produced by my station. This concludes our lesson about hierarchical modeling in 3D. Cards. Driven by digitalization.